Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to make this super quick because I hate how long everyone's tutorials on this take. So you're here because you want to run PyTest with Python in travisci.org. You have an open repository. Let's just get to it. So here you have a class you built. I called it calculator class. It's got two simple methods, add and subtract, that I could run. Uh, next, I have a test. I have a test underscore calc.py. So these are just my tests. I just want to make sure that when I add one and two and I subtract one and two, they work out correctly. And lastly, at the bottom here, I have a dot Travis dot YAML file. So let me make this a little bit bigger. I have the language is Python 3.6. The script is PyTest. So basically I'm telling I'm going to use PyTest to test my code. And down here I have a little bit of email notifications. These aren't mandatory. Usually they'll just send you notifications if you um, are using your GitHub. Um, but I wrote it explicitly so you could see I wrote notifications, email recipients, it's going to send it to me at my work email and then on success, never, right? So if I have a successful build and it passed all the unit tests, don't email me. If it fails, shoot me an email because I need to go fix some code or I broke it somewhere, okay? So how did I even start this? First, I was in my GitHub where did that go? GitHub.com. And I was in my GitHub and then I went to Travis. Boom, boom. Here we go. And you can see that I created a repository. Okay. And then what I did was the standard Git clone. So I copied this guy, right? Copied this guy. And then I came into here and I did Git clone. Uh, Control V, I've already done this, but I did Control V, it, it gives me this repository, right? And so now I'm hooked up into Git. Okay, just take my word for it, we're, we're hooked up into Git. And so then your question is, well, how does this talk to Travis CI? Well, I end up coming in here to Travis CI and I create an account, I do all that fun stuff. And then what I do is I go into my repositories and I click add. And then down here at the bottom, you can see that I've given approval. Hey, look at my GitHub. And now that you've looked at my GitHub, I give you approval to check the tests coming from GitHub. So I click the little uh, check bar and then it goes there. I, or I can do sync account. Sometimes if you don't see your repository pop up right away, it needs to sync real quick. Uh, no big deal. Go back to the home button. And so for right now, you can see that my build has worked. I tested this out before I made a video so I didn't look dumb midway through the video. So. I have this, I can see that I have a master branch, right? So when I check in anything to GitHub, I have a master branch and it's working right now. Okay, so let's say I'm a hypothetical scenario. I have to go back in and, and change this calculator. Where did my terminal go? I had to come back here and change my calculator app. Uh, let's CD back to this guy, CD desktop and then CD Python Travis, and then yeah, CD. Now this is the Travis CI when I did the GitHub. This is what I have now. And you can see these are the same files that are in my GitHub, right? So same files that you can see are in my GitHub. They're right here, okay? So now when I come in here, let's say I want to, I do something to the code, right? I shouldn't have added one to my original code. I save it, right? I do something poor to the code. Well, we already know this is going to go to GitHub, and if it goes to GitHub, it's going to be tested by Travis CI. So let's do that. So I have, uh, let's clear this out. I'm going to do git status. Okay, we can see I changed my calculator file. Git add, period, that means add everything, and and git commit dash m, a message. And I say broke the build, broke the build. Uh, and then it's going to say blah, blah, blah. Then I'm going to do git push origin master. That's going to send all my work to GitHub, right? So now GitHub is going to come in here. Let's launch up GitHub. And you can see that I have broke the build right here. And now if I come into Travis CI and then I click restart build, it will do this itself, but I'm just going to expedite it, right? If I do, do this guy, I'm going to do another build and you can see now it's thinking, okay? It sees that I have a new push called broke the build from GitHub. And now it's going to go test all my tests that are currently within my project structure. So it's going to test this guy right here, my test add function and my test subtract function right here. And it's going to let me know if something broke. Oh my God, look, it broke. I mean, we did that. We know that by adding one, it was going to work. And it tells me, okay, you failed this first test. So, F is your first test, the period is the second test that passed, 
and I wrote add method doesn't work and I go okay go back to my code boom add method doesn't work I know that my add method within my calculator failed so I come back up here and I go oh my god I wasn't very smart I added one out of nowhere I shouldn't have done that I save it right let's get a feel for it let's clear the terminal I'm gonna do git add period and git commit dash m uh, fixed build again git push origin master it's gonna come in here it's gonna do what it wants to do I'm gonna save this let's go back to Travis for a second let's see restart the build you can see it's still thinking, hey, has anything new happened, right? Is anything new on GitHub? It's going to go to broke the build. And I forgot to tell you that when I broke the build, I got an email that it broke. Okay. And then I'm on, and then now you can see that it's on fix build again. Okay. So now it's thinking, it's doing all its work. A lot of this might not mean anything to anyone. A lot of it doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, it basically is just firing up a virtual machine. Boom, look, master file worked. Fix build. And if I go to view config, this is my YAML file, right? This is the one that I specified down here, right? Same thing is happening right here. I go back to job log. Oh my God, look, it went to test calc and both the tests passed this time. I hope that was informative. I hope it showed you the power of building and everything that uh, the benefit of continuous integration, continuous deployment, especially when I know you can't see this, you probably can't, but on my phone, right, I broke it on the last time. I got an email that said, Kevin, you broke this build, go fix it before your deployment and everything stops working. Okay, have a good one, guys. Appreciate your time. Thanks. Bye.